Grant and my friend, welcome to Love Film. Thanks. Thank it's a pleasure you. to have you both here. So, first off, who knew that Victoria was so feisty? I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't know. I didn't know. I thought she was repressed and sour-faced. Mm. From the stamps and from a couple of paintings I'd seen. Hanky on her head. Hanky on her head. <laughs> Looking so, thoroughly, thoroughly miserable. Yeah. Right? Really <laughs> miserable. Yeah. Um, so I didn't know that she was so punchy. She's just quite an attractive character to play. Did you do a lot of research before you took on the part? Yeah, I did read everything I could get my hands on. I mean, Julian was great with that because he'd sort of point me in the right directions, which were the best. Um, He's a walking encyclopedia. Mm. Is he? <laughs> Jesus. It's like a of knowledge. Did you just talk to him? Yeah. Did you get a word in edgeways? No. No. <laughs> and what's brilliant about um, the film, I think, is that it kind of highlights quite modern attributes. And there's a key scene, I think, um, for the King's birthday, where mm. you have a right Barney. I felt it had um, very accessible features in it. and um, I think Julian really wanted to pull as much of those modern emotions in, mm. as you say, that, you know, the family Barney that everyone kind of recognises. Mm. Or the overbearing, you know, relative, whatever. It's, it's all. It's about family dysfunctional family values, if you like, and I think uh, that's as important as historical context in this mm. one. Sure, and obviously the key, the key th element of the film is the love story between um, Albert and Victoria. Um, what was it like working together? It was. was Oh, great. Oh, I was going to awesome. say great. So, okay, put it down. okay, fine. We actually <laughs> did have a great time. It was um, the easiest thing to come to work with you, Roop. Yeah. And it was, um, I mean, I think we both had a, had a shared problem. idea of what we wanted them to be like mm. and how real and delicate we wanted the relationship to be. And awkward, actually, because they, they really were teenagers when they met each other. So not to make it too schmaltzy and too... Um, Easy. Easy for yeah. them. So we so we just wanted to play it very much for real, make them as young and... Um, I'm trying to imagine what it might be like to... Fallible as um, possible, you know. You know, remembering when you were 18, trying to have a... You know, trying your first kind of attempt at having a sort of love affair, but <laughs> doing that under the scrutiny of, like, loads Everyone. of people yeah. Is, yeah. is a big sort of deal, you know. Um, and there's a really key scene, obviously, once um, Victoria has been crowned and you dance together. Did you um, have dancing lessons? <laughs> we did. We had them together. <laughs> we had did them you? together. Mm. It was actually, we, had, we didn't really know each other at all, so we had to learn how to dance together. We had a fantastic Mo movement movement teacher. Yeah. He, oh, he like, did he's you very say specific. my Martin? movement teacher? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jack's going to yeah. hate that. Yeah. Uh, we had a brilliant um, dance movement teacher who... Made us play trust games with each okay. other, which and we laughed for most of the time. And if um, you can do those, nothing is embarrassing. Nothing's after. embarrassing. <laughs> it was very embarrassing learning how to dance very badly at first, but we worked hard on it. Yeah, I broke a few toes. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Um, Emily and Rupert, thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Very much. Thank you.